Hey guys, it is Christina with Christina's 200 pounds. So I am joining the vlogus where we are posting every day in the month of August, just kind of our life and what we're doing. Um, so I have my questions. Let me just get straight to that. Uh, my name, I'm Christina, so hence Christina's 200. Um, my age, I am 37, I am almost 38 in December. Um, I am in a little town in South Dakota, and I do not come from a little town. <laughs> I originally um, grew up in California, and then I lived in Oklahoma City. And then I lived in Dallas for a while. So moving here to this little town was kind of a culture shock. Uh, everyone here is so nice and, you know, friendly and helpful. My business has grown so much just because everybody here supports all of their local uh, businesses. And then the school has so much team spirit that there's always... Um, there's always people looking for shirts and things like that to show their team spirit. And let's see, um, I like my community center. It's small and intimate and I like the pool. <laughs> um, let's see my start weight. Well, this is the second time that I'm starting a weight loss journey on social media. My first time was mainly only Instagram. I did do some on YouTube here and I did I did make a playlist. I at first wasn't going to make those videos um, public because I felt like they were failures of mine. Uh, I had lost over 50 pounds and then gained it all back plus more. The first time I started losing weight I was at 362 and I had gotten down to, I believe, 308, 312 in that area. So close to getting out of the 300s. I, I just can't fathom why my motivation didn't stick and why I didn't just continue because, I mean, I'm so close. I don't know. So this time I started and I started at 375 even. So my goal which is the next question is to get down to 175 uh, that's going to give me my 200 pounds loss now when I get to 175 we'll see 175 is actually the lowest that I have been as an adult before I got pregnant with my last two kids I did weigh 175 pounds and uh, I was wearing a size 32 pants and so like basically a size 12 and I actually loved me at that size I had a really nice shape and I don't know after back-to-back -back pregnancies and then working stagnant at a desk all the time I just gained all the weight and you know going through a divorce and all of that and just not feeling very pretty I ended up gaining all of that weight back uh, or gaining all of that weight. Let's see. When and why did I start? Well, I originally started because um, they were doing a challenge, a fitness challenge at the community center that I go to. And so that kind of got me started on it. And I just kept going. And um, this time, I just, you know, I, I, want, I have to, my oldest two are in the Navy. And... You know, I, I want to be a role model to them because they are such inspiration for me. And I feel like I, I'm traveling and doing all of these things. And I'm getting to the point that I can't do it at my size. And so I feel like if I lose the weight, it, I just have a better life. I mean, I'm such a girly girl and I feel like... There's not a whole lot of girly girl things for big women unless it's very expensive, if that makes any sense. Um, let's see. Something, oh, I guess I switched to when I said from. I skipped to number seven earlier, whatever. 
Um, so, as far as what inspiration I would give to others is just to keep going. I think, you know, we get on social media and we share everything, sometimes too much, but we share everything out on here and sometimes we feel like we have to keep up the act or that you have to have a certain persona when you're coming on here and I don't believe that that's what people really like. I think that people can recognize the genuine uh, because when I'm looking through and I'm looking at people who to follow, I really like the genuine people. And so understanding that when there's a failure or you're having a problem, that you just keep going and that you come on here, you accept that you had a failure, don't fake out anything. As a matter of fact, my way in from Monday, I deleted the... Uh, way in by accident trying to make room on my iPad. So I went Tuesday morning when I went to the gym and I did another way in. So I'll put that at the end of the video just to prove that I wasn't lying. I did lose five pounds. I'm not quite sure about this week though. Um, I've had a couple of setbacks. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, I think one of the benefits about being so overweight is that as long as you're not like pigging out and you get up and you move you're probably gonna lose weight I mean that's just <laughs> at my size that's just it I'm not eating 4,000 calories a day um, or whatever the 3600 calories a day that it would be at my size so anything that I do if I keep it under 2,000 I'm eating in a deficit so Okay, how do I pick myself back up? Well, yesterday and today has kind of been one of those days. You know, I've been going through quite a bit, and um, I don't know. I really enjoy my social media. I felt like I'm on my Instagram. I haven't been as active on my Instagram as I'd like to be, and I need to get back into that because that's more of an instant here and now this is how I'm doing in the moment and not filming a video and then editing it and then putting it on here. It's more of a here and now and I really like that um, connection and that interaction with people and I feel like last time I did that and I had a lot of really great help and then I just kind of fell off and so at a certain point I felt like I was the girl that cried weight loss and so it's like okay here I go I'm going to try again and I'm going to try again. And every time I would I would fall off and so this time I guess I feel like before I am really active on there that I've proven that I'm serious this time and um, I write everything down and I'm trying to keep track of everything because that's where my motivation comes from that's what keeps me going um, and I just feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun with this vlog. Vlog. <laughs> can't speak. Uh, Vogless. Vogus. That's it. Vlogist um, challenge. And um, I don't know. Maybe you guys will get to know a little bit more about me. And, and uh, I can get to know a whole lot more about the people that I'm subscribing to. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of the links to the other people who are also doing the vlogist uh, <laughs> uh, tag, so make sure you guys uh, subscribe to them, check them out, and hopefully we're going to have a lot of fun this month. Bye!